Hi, this is Jake with Cabinet Solutions Design Software, and on today's video we're going to be talking about European overlays in Cabinet Solutions. Now, we're going to go ahead and make sure that our job standards are using European factory default standards, which they are, and let's check our material thickness, which is 3 quarter of an inch. The reason why we're checking this is because for the formula for overlays for European style cabinets, it's the material thickness minus the desired gap, which we're going to be doing an eighth of an inch overlay, divided by two. So it's three quarter of an inch minus an eighth of an inch, and that gives you five eighths, divided by two, which comes out to five sixteenths. So let's see what this means in our software currently. So let's go ahead and place in a 50 inch wall. I'm going to do a base cabinet and a drawer bank. So right now, if you notice, all of your overlays are overlapping. We always recommend highly that you go through every time you create a new set of standards and double check all of your information, including your overlays. And this is how you get more accurate information. This way you don't make any miscuts or anything like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at our doors and drawer fronts. And let's modify the drawer fronts today. So over top, over bottom, over left, and over right, you don't need to worry about those too much because the material thickness is a half inch. You can go through and modify these as needed so that way you could actually clean up the gap in between your cabinets. I'm not going to be focusing on those. I'm going to be focusing on top over horizontal, bottom over horizontal, left over vertical, and right over vertical because those are the interior parts and those are the ones that need to be checked the most. Right now it's a half inch, so if you have two half inch overlays, and a three-quarter part, they're going to overlay quite a bit. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'm going to need to get a, an eighth of an inch gap in between them. So let's go ahead and open up my calculator. I'm going to do 0.75 for the material thickness minus the desired gap, which is 0.125. That gives me 5 eighths, and then I'm going to divide that by 2. And that's 5 sixteenths. So let's go ahead and put that in the top uh, over horizontal the bottom over horizontal, and my left and right over vertical. So let's go 5 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths, and 5 sixteenths. Let's go ahead and click on accept, and done, and apply to job. And if I zoom in on this cabinet here, you'll notice that all of my gaps are now there. Let's go ahead and do that for my base doors, so that way this cabinet will also be correct. So let's go to standards, adjust job standards again, doors and drawer fronts, base doors, and again, 5 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths, 5 sixteenths, and finally, 5 sixteenths, and accept, done and apply to the job. So now you'll notice that all my overlays are correct. I have the eighth inch gap that's desired on both my base cabinets and my drawer fronts. So again, keep in mind the formula. It's material thickness minus the desired gap divided by two. And the reason why we do that is because we actually start our overlays from the cabinet opening and grow them out. So again, this is Jake with Cabinet Solutions Design Software, and if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call, 209-836-4077 for the support line. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you again for watching, and have a great day.